I think our individual differences work on semantic ambiguity feeds into what's a bigger question in cognitive science, the relationship between language specific cognition and domain general cognition. There's extensive neuroimaging and neuropsychological research, much of it from Ev Bedrenko's group, which shows there's a set of left lateralized frontotemporal brain regions that respond reliably and selectively to linguistic but not non-linguistic stimuli. And that damage to these regions leads to a selective deficit in language function. But there is another set of brain regions forming what's called the multiple demand network that are sometimes engaged during language comprehension. And, and one of the occasions where they it looks like they, they might be active is during semantic ambiguity processing. And so the, the question then is, is why do we see these MD regions engaged just because the speech is a bit harder? Um, or are these regions actually doing, performing some, some core linguistic computations? I think if we have a better understanding of the mechanisms that underpin successful and unsuccessful speech comprehension, and by, by mechanisms, I mean um, at the cognitive and the neural level of explanation, then I think we have a good starting point for developing possible interventions or educational materials, say for second language learners or, or people who are struggling a bit with comprehension.